As stated before, little is known about Britain currency, such as how much it was worth. They came in many different shapes and sizes, with this type of currency being called proto-currency. They may have been worth more or less depending on their size, or may have acted more like IOUs in a wider bartering system. Before the Celtic culture spread to the British Isles, the Latin culture traded iron double pyramid bars that you see above. However, these may have also been used in the British Isles as culture spread. However, very little is known about these bars. The first type of currency actually used in the British Isles were iron bars. And again, very little is known about these and they may have not been currency, they may have just acted as IOUs. There's been four types of these bars found in the British Isles, all in what is known today as England. This is the most common and is referred to as the sword shaped. This type has been found in four Celtic Britain tribes, the Keraltovi, the Barney, the Dorodiges and finally the Atrobates. The following three tribes are not as common and are much rarer. This is referred to as the spit or split shaped design and was found in the Dabani area. This is the bay leaf shaped and is found around the Cambridgeshire sites. And finally this is the ploughshare type and is found around the Thames Valley and the West Midlands areas. This over time evolved into ring currency around the Bronze Age. These could have been used in the same way as iron bars in a kind of IOU fashion. But these could have also acted as a fashion statement to show off the wealth and they may have been worn as jewellery, as a necklace or bracelet. These would have been used as jewellery first, and as currency second. These rings were made out of gold, silver and bronze. They're also found throughout the whole of the British Isles, not only England. These over time evolved into a less ornate and more practical design. With this design, bartering would have taken precedence over jewellery. However, people may have still worn these around their necks and arms. These were made from bronze and were much lighter, and there are tons of them around today. You can buy them on eBay really cheap. Gold and silver rings have been found alongside these newer bronze rings, but they're much less common and are only found in small hoards. Other currencies have been found in Britain from this time from around the whole of Europe, such as from Carthage. They came from a few spots from around Europe and appeared in Britain before the Romans did. They may have gotten here through trade or from Britain mercenary work. However, not many of these European coins have been found, so it's unlikely that they were used for general trading within the Britain population. There are two common theories for what these coins were used for, either as souvenirs from Britain travels to Europe, or from again being brought back as payment for mercenary work, or was just used for international trade and so wasn't actually given out to the population. More of these coins have been found near the channel, meaning that cross-channel trade was likely a thing. From around the Roman invasions and excursions, Britain started to mint their own real coins in gold and silver. These coins may still have not been used domestically, but more for international trade. These coins also used European coins as templates, especially Greek coins. There were nine main tribes who minted coins, all in what we now call England. I'll only be going over two common coins from each main tribe. However, keep in mind that these came in a huge amount of variety, but there is little known about them. These are two common Coriel Tarvi coins. The top left is an abstract horse in a field with sun and pellets in the sky. The top right is an abstract head of the Roman god Apollo. This coin was minted between 45 and 10 BC. The bottom left is a boar adapted from Roman designs with Celtic patterns around it. The bottom right displays another horse with Celtic patterns around it. This was minted in 55 BC. These coins were minted by the Asini tribe. The top left is either a local god or Boudica. It was minted between 60 BC and 1 AD and uses a Roman Republic common coin as a template that normally features the god Juno. The top right features a horse with Celtic patterns. The bottom left displays abstract Celtic patterns or maybe it's a shield and the bottom right is a horse. These are two Tironovate coins. The top left features the head of Apollo. The top right is a horse, possibly a winged horse. This was minted between 55 and 45 BC. The bottom left is a stylized cruciform wreath, and the bottom right is a horse with a wheel motif above. This was minted between 55 and 40 BC. These are two Catalavoni coins. The top left features wheat or possibly seeds. 
with the top right displaying a horse with the name Canoblius. Canoblius was a Celtic king of the Catalavani, and this coin was minted in 9 AD. The bottom left is a pen reef expanding above and below, and the bottom right displays two galloping horses with a cross in a circle below, and the name Canoblius. This was minted between 10 and 43 AD. Here are two Canti coins. Top left had no design on it, while the top right is a trophy box. This was minted between 30 and 20 BC. The bottom left is also a blank, while the bottom right displays a pentagram star, a horse, and Celtic patterns. This was minted between 5 BC and 5 AD. These are two Regni and Atrobate coins. The top left displays names of two kings, Epilus and Commius. The top right displays a horse maybe a winged horse. This coin was minted between 10 BC and 10 AD. The bottom left displays a vine leaf, with the bottom right displaying a horseman with a spear and shield on his back. This coin was minted between 10 and 40 AD. Here are two Belgi coins. The top left is a reef motif with crescents and a cloak, or it could be an abstract head of Apollo, with the bottom right being an abstract horse above a crab. This coin was minted between 65 and 58 BC. The bottom left displays a person's face, although we don't know who this person is. And the bottom right displays an abstract horse. Here are two Durotrigis coins. The top left is an abstract head of Apollo. The top right is apparently an abstract horse. This coin was minted between 58 and 45 BC. The bottom left is either a starfish or just a spiral and the bottom right is a zigzag pattern and this was minted in the 1st century BC and lastly here are two Dabani coins the top left features an unknown person and the top right displays a horse this coin was minted between 10 BC and 10 AD the bottom left features an abstract horse with a wheel below and the bottom right features either a tree or a leaf and it could be the Tree of Life, although that's unlikely. And it's minted between 20 and 43 AD. These Britain coins became more Romanized over time before being discontinued completely in favor of Roman coins. Be sure to check out my other channel, History Sticks, for the complete, longer, and comprehensive video.